Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX Accessory Tutorial video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly install and remove a spring release into an Eaton Series NRX circuit breaker. Disclaimer. Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw-out breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. To install the spring release, you will need the following tools and parts. One flathead screwdriver, one spring release included in your parts kit, and one pair of needle nose pliers. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover, install the spring release, and reattach the front cover. For this demonstration, we will use a three-pole IEC 800 amp draw-out circuit breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, you must remove the four non-captive screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. First, pull the manual charging handle toward you. This will give you better access to the spring release's mounting location. Put the spring release in its mounting position, then tilt it backwards so the plastic grooves on the bottom right and back of the spring release slide into the metal frame. Use the captive retaining screw and flap light screwdriver to secure the spring release to the circuit breaker. The last step is to connect the secondary leads. To simplify the process, release the secondary tray by pressing on the two orange tabs on the back of the tray. Slide the tray until the back edge of the tray lines up with the numbers. The spring release's leads should connect to positions 35 and 36 in the secondary mounting bracket. When inserting the leads, odd numbers are always on the bottom. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, Secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Remember, if you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws that need to be reinserted.
In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove a spring release from a series NRX circuit breaker. First, disconnect the spring release's secondary leads. They should be located in positions 35 and 36 of the secondary mounting bracket. Use your pair of needle nose pliers to squeeze the plastic tabs on the lead and disconnect. Next, use your flat blade screwdriver to unscrew the captive retaining screw from the spring release and remove it from the circuit breaker. If you pull the charging handle forward, it will be easier for you to pull the spring release out. This completes the spring release tutorial. For any additional tutorials and information on Eaton's series NRX circuit breaker, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.